If you are going to keep cattle through the winter, you have to feed them some kind of stored food. You have to make hay to feed them when they can't get to grass. You make hay in the summer, early summer, while the grasses are still in the growth phase before they lignify and go to seed. That's a problem for the grassland birds because haymaking time is exactly when they nest and many nest in the grass, exactly the grass you plan to cut for hay. Nests don't make it through the hay cutting machinery. We're talking about the meadowlarks, the bobolinks, the dixisles, and a tribe of grassland sparrows such as the savannas and the grasshopper. Some of the grassland birds nest directly on the ground. Others, like the red-winged blackbird, select a tall weed they think the cattle, our modern bison, won't bother to eat. But will sparing a nest from the hay cutter assure its success? The operating perspective is that if there were no cattle, there would be no pasture or hay ground, so there would be very little opportunity for the grassland birds. So you wait as long as you can, and you watch carefully for nests in the hay stand. Here is one red wing nest I saw in time to mow around, and it had a happy ending. The birds fledged four days later. There were likely others I did not see. I try not to think about them. No cattle means no grasslands, which means no grassland birds. I tell myself.